Okay, what's your name, please? Nathaniel Malka. And do you have a title? I'm the vice president of Jemena, Jews Indigenous to the Middle East and North Africa, which is a nonprofit organization um, based here in California, which is one of the sponsoring organizations of tonight's event. Uh, would you describe a little what the organization's about? Sure. Uh, what we do is we advocate for universal recognition of the history and heritage of the Jewish communities of the Middle East and North Africa. So we record and share uh, the history. Um, we, uh, one of the programs that we have is an oral history program similar uh, in, in many ways to what Spielberg has achieved with the Shoah Foundations. Uh, we archive um, oral history video testimonies of eyewitness survivors from everywhere from Casablanca to Cairo to Baghdad um, and uh, archive these uh, with um, Ben Gurion University um, and in the Israeli archives. Were Jewish people kicked out of these countries quickly and have did they have their uh, businesses and possessions confiscated? Absolutely yes. Uh, the, statistic, the statistic that you usually uh, hear is that 90 percent of those who left all of the Jewish communities from the Middle East and North Africa did not have a choice. 90 percent did not have a choice? Correct, 90 percent. Uh, did they have to leave their bank accounts? Uh, in some cases, I would say the ones that did well were the ones that were able to roll, lift, and carry a rug with them on the way out um, as a store of wealth, uh, but those were the lucky ones. And again, that's 90% out of about 850,000 from the um, Arab countries in the Middle East, and when you include Iran, the number goes up to about a million. How many Jews in total do you think were uh, expelled uh, from the Arab, their Arab uh, lands? 850,000. Uh, are you looking for uh, a, a reciprocation from the uh, Palestinians um, to exchange populations so that they are no longer um, the problem for Israel? Uh, uh, that Israel should have them in Judea and Samaria? Do you guys have a position on that? So um, we uh, are not a political organization. What we do, what we focus on is remembrance. Uh, and you know, this is really very important for two different reasons. One is the emotional. Uh, we as Jews, we remember where we come from. We honor our ancestors. We honor our past. Um, and then, of course, there is the more rational reason, which is intellectual honesty, very simply. Um, how can you uh, really even contemplate the history of a whole region um, while omitting such um, a large, important group of people uh, that were part of the history of that region?